Hey everyone, here's a look at our heat map effects, our thermal LUTs pack. Revolutionize your imagery instantly. Get heat map effects and thermal looks that stun your audience. Thermal LUTs is like having 31 thermal lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. A powerful tool in every creative's toolkit. Transforming your footage and photography with stunning thermal looks has never been easier. From the Predator thermal vision look to the surveillance camera effect, these super easy to use real thermal LUTs provide you with a great optionality no matter the medium. Each heat map effect has a different color gradient and vibrancy, allowing you complete customization of the perfect effect. The pack is compatible with all major photo editing software. Unfortunately, C1 does not support LUTs. We hope they will update their software to support traditional LUTs in the near future. But with that said, I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to add heat map effects using our thermal LUTs pack in Photoshop, along with a few additional editing tips to tweak the heat map effects. Let's drop in. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm and comment below what you would like to see next. When you download and unzip the pack, it's gonna come with 31 thermal LUTs or .cube files. And to install these in Photoshop, it's super easy. You just wanna to go to your applications folder and then click on your Photoshop app and go to presets and then in this 3d LUTs folder you can simply copy and paste them into this folder already done that so let's go ahead and pull up photoshop and show you how easy it is to use these and apply them to your imagery we have our image already in photoshop and i'm just going to go over to the adjustments tab and then click the color lookup icon click that and that's going to add basically an adjustment layer. And then under your 3D LUT file, you can just click the drop down menu and scroll down to any of the thermal LUTs and select which one you would like. So for this one, let's go ahead and try, try thermal LUT number six. And there you go. That's how easy it is to apply these heat map effects to your imagery. You can add as many as you would like. You can kind of keep going and add different looks. Let's try maybe thermal LUT number 30. Love that one. So let me show you a couple other little editing tips that you can kind of push the different levels of these and get slightly different looks and, uh, and show you the dynamic range that you can achieve with this. So once you find the LUT that you like, you can go up into the layer and you go new adjustment layer and levels. Click OK. And then in your levels, you can kind of tweak and customize your RGB, your red, green, blue levels to get slightly different looks in that LUT. So as you can see here, I'm just going to go to the red spectrum and I'm going to move the white over a bit. And as you will see, that will change different hues and the kind of different color of that spectrum. You can go ahead and do that with any of the other levels as well. And kind of tweak those and push different levels to make it more saturated or less saturated or give it a harsher or kind of a more mellow effect. That blue is pretty cool. I like changing that blue. So let's go ahead and push that blue over a bit. And then the other one that you can add, the other effect is if you go up to new adjustment layer and hue and saturation, you can add that and then you can and scan through the hues and really get these cool different looks. So there's a lot of optionality with each thermal LUT. Don't think that that LUT is basically going to lock you into that specific color spectrum. You have a lot of room to customize these as 
exactly how you would like. Um, so I really like this kind of like blue spectrum. I like that quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. And that's it. That's how simple and easy it is to apply and use these thermal LUTs and get some customization. So have fun with this. We recommend checking out Aerochrome, our infrared LUTs pack, the ultimate infrared effects with drag and drop ease. Give your photos and videos that unreal infrared look compatible with all software. Each IR LUT has a slightly different amount of tone, tint, and saturation, allowing you complete customization of the perfect real infrared look. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next. And we'll catch you in the next one.